Good morning, Year Ones. This is your Thursday phonics lesson, and we are going to be carry on, carrying on learning about the sound I. But first thing is first, again, if you want to pause there and um, pause the video here and practice these sounds, you can. But if not, keep the video playing. First things first, let's read our tricky words. Are you ready? Said have, like, so, do. Let's try and read them from the back. Now from do, okay, are you ready? Do, so, like, have, said. Right, the next ones, let's start from the beginning. Are you ready? Some, come. Little, one, were. Let's read these ones backwards now, okay? <clears throat> Starting with were. Were. One, little, come, some. And if you notice, some and come, do you know they are best friends? Okay? Some and come are best friends and do you know why because they're spelled exactly the same apart from the initial sound the first letter so some starts with a s and come starts with a k k k so remember that when you're writing some and come are best friends if you know how to spell come you know how to spell some if you know how to spell some you know how to spell come, okay? So remember that, some and come, they are best friends. Right, let's read these last ones then, starting from the beginning. Are you ready? Out, what, when, there. I hope you're joining in with me, year ones. Shall we do it again from the beginning and join in with me, okay? I know I can't see you, but I want you to join in with me still, okay? Are you ready? One more time from the beginning. Out, what, when, there. Okay, right. Are you ready? Let's recap our phonics sounds. If you want to stand up and do your phonics lesson... If that helps you to concentrate more and that helps you for your brain to focus, okay, you can stand up and do it. You don't have to do your lesson sat down. You can do our phonics lesson stood up, just like how we do at school sometimes. Right, so say what you see. I want you to join in with me, year one. Come on, we can do this. J, V, W, X, Y, O, Z. And it could be uh as well. Uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh. Or. E. Air. Your. Uh. Uh. A. Oh, our new sound that we learned at the beginning of the week, it's ow, 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 ow. And our new sound that we learned yesterday is I, 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 I. And it's a digraph, isn't it? It's two letters that make one sound. Right. Can you write my sentence? So you do need to sit down for this bit. So if you want to sit on your bottoms and make sure you have got yourself a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil, okay? So just like the other day, I am going to say a sentence. I will say it once. I will say it twice because it makes things nice, doesn't it? 
If you want, you can repeat the sentence. So once I've said it out loud, I'd like you to say the sentence out loud because that will help you to remember it and it will help you to write the sentence out, okay? So are you ready for the sentence? I had a pie and I cried. Do you know why? Because it was a cherry pie and I don't like cherry pie. I wanted a blackberry pie. So I did. I cried. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Right. So let me let's say the sentence again to you. I had a pie and I cried. I had a pie and I cried. So if you want to have a go at writing it now, maybe say it one more time. I had a pie and I cried. So I want you to be writing that sentence down. Remember, sound out the words that you are unsure of. Had, h, a, d. Pie, p, i. I had a pie and I cried. Right, year ones, if you want to pause the video now, so you've got a little bit of extra time, you can. Otherwise, I'm going to show you mine. If yours looks like mine, give yourself a tick. Let's read it together. I had a pie and I cried. Well done. If yours looks like mine, give yourself a tick. If you have a capital letter and a full stop, Give yourself another tick. If you have remembered our handwriting rules, so are your tall letters tall? Don't add those sticks on after. Rub it out and do it again, okay? Are your underground letters underground? So is your p underground? Are your small letters small? Have you got a capital letter and full stop? Okay, right. The next job is your favourite job. Here is a list of I words. Okay, so we've got cried, fried, replied, pie, tie, tried, untie. Now, I want you to choose two or if you really want to challenge yourself, choose three Choose two or three of the words on the board and I want you to make a silly sentence, okay? So it might be, my pie cried. Or it might be, my pie had a tie on. Have you ever seen a pie with a tie on before? No, I haven't. Just remember, make sure that your I words are spelt correctly. You've got capital letters and full stops and your sentence does make sense. Okay, so you've not missed any words out. If you want to use some words, your own I, words, I words of your own, then obviously you are more than welcome to. Okay, so that is your job to do today. And then if you have time, you can go on phonics play. You might want to play Ob and Bob today or you might want to play the pirate game because that's also sorting real words and alien words out as well. Okay, well done year one. You've tried really, really hard today.